holiday food at Rancho Del Zocalo. Mr. Cheesy Pop. Hey everyone, it's Max. I'm here, Rancho Del Zocalo. You know how many new items they have for the holidays this year here at Rancho Del Zocalo? A whole bunch. Let's go eat. So right over here are our two holiday specials. Chicken mole, caldo de pollo. So that's at this section. So not the main section, but look at all these vegetables and things going in here. This is beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This looks really good over here. Thank you so much. You bet. Enjoy. And then right over here are your champorado. Can't wait to see them. Wow, look at the size of this piece of chicken, guys. Wow. Here's the soup. There's a lot in here. And these are the churro bites. These look awesome. And there's the champurado. Let's start with the soup, obviously. Wow, you can see there's a lot in here, yeah? Look at that, that's a lot of chicken. Oh, look at the rice. I gotta squeeze some lime onto here. Okay, let's go. All right guys, this is the caldo de pollo, a very traditional soup. Uh, I've got a lot on here, carrots and, oh, the cilantro. Okay, let's see what this tastes like. Uh, that's amazing. Guys, on a chilly evening here at Disneyland, you have to get this. You know what I taste in this soup? Love. I'm not kidding, like, this tastes like Grandma made this. This is amazing. I love what the lime and cilantro are also doing to this. Guys, I am serious. I will never steer you wrong. This is so delicious. And look how much is in here. You could honestly split this with someone else, especially if you're also getting the chicken mole and the churros like I did. Goodness, this is amazing. There's so many vegetables hidden in here too. Uh, you have a whole thing of corn in the cob. Delicious and hearty and just beautiful. The chicken in here is white and dark meat, so you get a little bit of both. A little something for everybody. Let's try some of that corn. Mmm. Oh, because it's been sitting in the broth, it's even better. This. Wow. I just need you guys to see more of this soup now that I have eaten a bunch of it, you could really see more of the ingredients in here and just how packed it is with veggies. Oh my gosh, it is just so delicious. Do any of your grandmas make this kind of soup? Because if so, I'm coming over. Or I'll just come here to Rancho, but wow, this is so good. Good work, Rancho del Zocalo. I'm honestly just so impressed with that soup. I just want to keep eating it, but also, um. Yeah, but also I'm gonna save room because I gotta go into the mole, but this soup is just amazing. So fresh, so clean, so much love. Grandma! So here's the chicken mole. This looks delicious. Okay, we gotta cut into this. And you do get some tortillas here, so if you'd like to make it, oh yeah. Wow, this is a giant piece. <laughs> oh my gosh. No joke, humongous amount of chicken. Look at this, guys, though. You, a breast, a wing, a drumstick. What? Let's taste the chicken by itself first. I don't want to put it in the tortilla yet. I just want to taste that flavor of the mole. Ooh, that's got a bunch of heat, too. The soup was not hot at all. I mean, it was hot, but not spicy. This is actually spicy, yes. Mm, this is delicious mole. So I had a piece of the dark meat there. Let me try the white meat now. All right, here's some of the white meat chicken mole. So good. This is such a perfect combination. I can't even begin to explain to you between the soup and this. Oh yeah, I'm loving the heat on this mole. This mole is decadent. Mm. Let's try our rice and beans. These look like the normal rice and beans that you would normally get here at Rancho, but let's just, you know. Mm-hmm. You can't go wrong with Rancho's rice and beans. You guys know I was not gonna not make, not gonna not, it works, right? Well, here we go. I got some, I got all the ingredients in here now. This is so good. That mole is so good, I would make it a permanent menu item. That was amazing. 
Okay, I know, you're all like, Max, there were churro bites on your plate with hot chocolate. What are you doing? You gotta eat that now. We wanna know how that tastes. Okay, here we go. Here is the champorado, which is, this is just traditional Mexican hot chocolate, guys. And it's a big cup of it. And then right over here are the, are the churro bites. Oh yes. What I wanna do is take this churro bite and just dunk it in our hot chocolate. Oh yes. Oh yes. And now, how is that churro bite? Mm-hmm. This is awesome. Do I maybe like this better than the churros just like right over there? I think I might. Let me taste this without the hot chocolate. These taste way more authentic to me than the ones out in the park. Not to say the ones out in the park aren't great, but I don't know, these have like more of a denseness to them and more of that crunch and softness on the inside. This is awesome. That's a hot chocolate by itself. Oh my gosh. You guys should not be getting any other hot chocolate this season. This is the one. This is some real Mexican hot chocolate. Like got that spice to it. This is, <laughs> I'm obsessed. Everything I had here at Rancho del Zocalo was 10 out of 10. As usual though. Um, I mean, that's what they do here. They're always putting out great food, but I, 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 I can't even begin to stress enough how much the soup feels like eating grandma's soup. Also this season, they do have the pan dulce, which was so successful, and the frozen hot chocolate. Again, I didn't get those for this video, but um, this is a ton of food. You could split what I had for sure. But get over here to Rancho del Zocalo in Disneyland. Try everything I had. You will not be disappointed at all. Hope you enjoyed. Have you tried it yet? Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, check out my Patreon page. Have a magical day, everybody. Where's, where's some more of that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bye.